thing I wanted to talk about is traveling during the holidays as we are in the midst of arguably the largest surge we've had. The first thing I would tell you is don't travel and see other people that you have not been around if you can avoid it. Now I recognize that people have purchased airline tickets and made plans to be with people long before this recent surge started. And you know, maybe you can't get a refund, I understand that. So you're gonna go ahead and travel anyway, I recognize that. What I would suggest in that scenario is to isolate yourself prior to travel, right? Because you don't want to be exposed to anybody. So staying at home, you know, if you're going to work, wearing a mask and, 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 and doing all the mitigation efforts will help to prevent you from contracting the illness. I would advise that you test yourself, you know, at least three to four days before you travel. With the turnaround of testing right now, it may take three to five days for you to get a test back. So five days before travel may be enough of a time frame for you to get a test, get the results, and know you're negative before you travel. I would suggest that when you get to the other end of your travel that you isolate maybe another 24 to 48 hours just to be sure symptoms don't develop. And if they don't, then almost certainly you're going to be okay to see your relatives and, and, and be around people. But again, if you're congregating in groups, of people that you have not been around, it would be advisable that you wear a mask in those group settings, keep your distance from people, wash your hands frequently, and so forth. The most important aspect when you, when you either get symptoms or you, you are found to be positive is to prevent the spread of the illness to other people. Once you have it, what I like to say is the COVID stops with you. Right? So if the COVID can stop with you, that means you go home, you isolate, you don't be around other people, um, and um, you really try to keep the COVID to yourself. I just want to close <clears throat> by saying this has been a very difficult time for all of us. The last eight months have been something we've all <clears throat> never experienced, and hopefully we will never experience again. This is not over, though. We are still looking at some very, very troubled times where it's really going to take a collective effort for all of us to help prevent the spread of COVID to others. So with that in mind, I just want to wish everyone, everyone, the happiest of holidays, the merriest of Christmas, the best Hanukkah you've ever had, and the hopefully, ideally, and prayfully, an amazing 2021 where the COVID is in the rear view mirror and we all start to resemble or all start to begin to have the kind of lives that we were all used to before this began. Happy holidays, everybody. If you or a family member is suspected of COVID-19, please make a virtual reservation to talk with one of our many medical providers or come to a marked testing clinic to be evaluated. We are here for you and your family, and we hope you have a happy holiday.